Hello students, welcome back to my channel, Explore Physics, Let's Explore. In the previous class, I solved few numerical problems based on electric current, potential, resistance and resistivity. Today I am going to explain you about the combination of resistances, how the resistances are combined in different manner or different methods. So without further delay, let's start the class. So basically we can you know, connect the resistances in two different ways. One is called series connection or series combination and the other one is called parallel combination or parallel connection. So what happens in series connection? We are going to discuss that. Say we have two cells here. We know that the metallic cap is the positive terminal and the zinc container is the negative terminal of the cell or of the conductor. So if I am going to place one more cell in this way where the positive of one terminal, this is positive. So the positive of one conductor is connected to the negative of the other conductor and so on. This type of connection is called series connection. It's arranged in linear order where different terminals are connected. Positive of one is connected to the negative of the other and I can just place few more cells like this. Whereas in parallel connection, if I have say same cells, uh, what can, how can I connect it in parallel connection? Where I am going to connect all the positive to one side and all the negative to the other side. So this type of combination is called parallel combination where same kind of terminals or all the positive terminals are connected to one side and the other type of terminal that is negative terminals are connected to the other side. So this is called parallel connection. How they are different? How can you derive or how can you deduce or calculate resistance, current or potential difference in these cases? I'm going to discuss this taking one by one. First we'll talk about series connection and then parallel combination or parallel connection. So I hope it's clear to you when different terminals are connected then it is called series connection and same terminals are connected one side and to the other side that is called the parallel combination or parallel connection. So let's take the series connection. So we I have say I have two resistances R1 and R2 here. We have sorry R2 we have connected one ammeter to measure the flow or the amount of electric current flowing in it. We have one source of say battery that source of electric energy and here I have one key attached to it. That is how the simple circuit is. Across because I have to find the potential difference also. So across the ends of these resistors I have connected one voltmeter also. So this is plus, this is minus, this is plus, this is minus and this will be plus and minus here. So this is the circuit for series connection. Now say the electric current I is flowing through it. I is flowing through the circuit and here what happens now the most important part where we have to reduce also the formula for equivalent resistance so we are going to discuss that now see this in series connection always remember that I go passing through R1 and R2 will be the same okay so I will be same I amount of I if it's 2 ampere the same 2 ampere will be going to R1 as well as to R2 also so the I will be the same in series connection whereas the V differ. The uh, electric potential it's going to be different for R1 and for R2. Always remember for series connection. So if 
the total re the resistance of the total system is say r and the electric current as we discussed is flowing i m h and the potential electric potential is say v what will happen then v is equal to i r you know that the uh, equivalent resistance is r so v v means this the you know electric uh, whatever electric source is there. so uh, potential of that because the this is only giving you giving the electric potential to the circuit and which is measured by the voltmeter so v is equal to i r as i told you this electric potential will be different for r1 and different for r2 as well so i can say, write that v is equal to v1 plus v2 where v1 is equal to i r1 and v2 is equal to i r2 right v is equal to i r whatever the potential difference is maintained across the battery that is v it is equal to i r i the current flowing the circuit r the capital r is the total net or equivalent resistance of the circuit i same electric current flowing through it so v1 if say v1 is the potential difference for this r1 across the ends of this r1 so v1 is equal to i r1 and v2 is equal to i r2 so what will be v v will be equal to v1 plus v2 or i can also write it as i r is equal to i r1 plus i r2 cos i remains the same i can cancel i so r is equal to r1 plus r2 so we can conclude or we can just uh, you know dis, uh, deduce from this fact that when the resistances are combined or connected in series the total or the equivalent resistance of the system will be the sum total of the individual resistances which are there in the circuit r is equal to r1 plus r2 the sum of the resistances which are there in the circuit if you see r is equal to r1 plus r2 if we have r1 as 1 and r2 as 2 so we have 3 ohm the total resistance will be 3 ohm so it means that when the resistances are connected in series the equivalent resistance will be more will be higher than the individual resistance so, so r is equal to r1 plus r2 so the resistance will be higher when the combination or resistance are in series that is all about the series combination let's talk about the i hope it's clear to you nothing we have done r is equal to r1 plus r2 we had to deduce or you know concluded later we started with v is equal to i r as i have told you that in series connection i remains same remember always that i remains the same in series connection whereas v differ so v1 will be the potential difference uh, potential difference across r1 and v2 is the potential difference across r2 so v is equal to v1 plus v2 v1 is equal to i r1 v2 is equal to i r2 so the combination will be i r is equal to i r1 plus i r2 i being the same will be cancelled out so r is equal to r1 plus r2 that is the you know the formula for finding the equivalent or net resistance in the series connection i hope it's clear to you let's talk about the parallel combination now what happens when the resistances are connected in parallel so we have second parallel connection so how can we depict or illustrate that through the diagram so we have one r1 here so we have one r2 here here it is again across its end we have connected one potential as a potential meter here we have one battery the source of electric energy here we have one key here i can attach one ammeter 
Therefore, you can angles attach it here and the electric current will flow in this direction. Say this is plus, this is minus, this will be minus, this will be plus, here it will be plus and minus. So, this, that's how the parallel connection will be. This is R1 and this is R2. Now, remember that in parallel connection, V remains the same. Things will be easy if you just uh, you know, remember it. In series, I remain the same. In parallel, V remains the same. So, what will happen? R1 and R2, when the I is going to this, through this branch, here it's going to branch up. Say this is I1 and this will be I2. Two branches. Two different resistors, so here it will branch uh, and to this R1, I1 will go to this R2, I2 will go here. This is better. To this I2 R1, this here I2 will go. So when I said V remains the same, we are going to start with I. The total electric current flowing thing in the circuit is say I, which is equal to I1 plus I2 because same here and uh, you know the same I is branched out here. Here we are going to get the same I again after it comes out from this combination we are going to get the same amount of electric current. So V is equal to I1 plus I2 instead of I I can write V upon R because V is equal to IR. So I is equal to V upon R equals to E is the same everywhere. So we have V upon R so, V upon R1 plus V upon R2, V being the same, we can cancel this. So, 1 upon R is equal to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2. So, this is the formula for finding the equivalent resistance for parallel combination. So, what will be the equivalent or net resistance of the circuit? Will be equal to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2. If you see here, the resistance will decrease from its total resistance will be lesser than the individual resistances. Uh, we have spoken about combination of resistances. In series, uh, I remains the same. In panel, V remains the same. There is no change in V. We have taken there in series combination V is equal to V1 plus V2 here. We will be taking I is equal to I1 plus I2 and we got the, got the formula 1 upon R is equal to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2. That's all for the day. All the uh, numerical problems based on this we are going to discuss in the next class. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy and a very big thank you to you all. Bye-bye.